and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com in conjunction with phillyisugly.com which is a film project, a time-lapse film project in fact, that I've been shooting over the past few months uh, showcasing uh, my city of Philadelphia. Uh, if you can go check it out, that would be super cool. phillyisugly.com, super, super cool stuff. Anyway, this is some behind-the-scenes stuff and some tutorial stuff that I've picked up along the way and learned, so I figured, hey, why not share it with everybody if it's of help that's just even more crazy cool and awesome and all kinds of other things. So we're going to take a look at After Effects and specifically how I took the camera raw images or the raw photographs that I was shooting and turned that into a video clip, a usable video clip that can be part of our film. So here's what I did. I'm using Adobe After Effects CS6. I'm not at all an After Effects expert at all, at all, at all in any realm. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and I've got my welcome screen. We're going to create a new composition. So we're going to go ahead and click new composition and we can give the composition a name if we like. We're not going to and my preset is custom. I don't want to use a, a, any of the presets built in because I know that I'm shooting a, a little bit of a, a strange film when it comes to the ratio and the size of the frame. This is not a normal 16 to 9 or 4 to 3 or uh, any or 2 to 3 kind of ratio that I'm shooting. I am shooting a different ratio. Uh, the ratio that I'm shooting is 239 to 1. So it's sort of this ultra widescreen cinematic look. Really, really cool stuff. So I want my frame to be 2,580 pixels wide and 1,080 pixels tall. Now, how did I get that size? I didn't really get it uh, from anywhere that I saw online. I don't think. Maybe it was a subliminal effect and I saw it somewhere. But here's how I got it. I'll show you. If we jump over to Photoshop, I'll give you a quick visual. I'm going to create a new file in Photoshop. I'm going to make a standard 1920 by 1080 frame. And this is sort of your standard 1080p uh, HD frame for any television show or film that you're going to watch at the 16 to 9 ratio. And the reason, by the way, that it's called 16 to 9 is because if we go to the 16 to 9, you can see for every 16 pixels wide, it's 9 pixels tall. So we want a 239 to 1 ratio. So if I set the width to 2.39 and the height to 1, you can see it's a much wider uh, much wider frame that we're getting. It's 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 not as tall, but it's going to be much wider. So if I can, I'm going to choose not to crop, by the way. If I can make this frame um, 2,580 pixels wide and maintain that 1080 up and down, that's what I want. So what I did was I just stretched this frame way out. So I well, I came into Photoshop first, created the document, and then I went to canvas size, and I said, all right, I know I need the document to be way wider. I don't know how much wider, so I'm just going to give it a width of 3,500 pixels, which is super wide. And it's going to stretch. You can see the document out very, very wide. But the important thing, if I go to image size, is it's still 1080 tall. I wanted this to never be less than 1080 tall because that's that 1080 uh, HD. In fact, I could have made it even bigger than this, I guess, if I wanted. But 1080 was the number I picked, and that's kind of what I was rolling with. So then I grabbed the crop tool set to 239 by 1, and I just said, hey, you know what, go ahead and crop this, and let's see what the size is. So I'm going to go back to image size, and you can see 2582 to 1080. So I just rounded it down to the 2580 by 1080, and that was how I picked my frame size for, uh, for using over here in Adobe After Effects. So now that I've covered that, Frame rate, I set it to 24 frames per second. I knew I wanted a very smooth time lapse, so I wanted to take my images and compress them down to 24 frames per second. I was shooting a lot of frames. And at 24 frames per second, if you shoot 300 frames, that's about 12 and a half seconds of video that you're going to get out of 300 pictures. And the duration of the composition is three minutes. This is just to make sure that I had plenty of time to play with in my composition. I don't have to export the full three minutes. I can always export a little 12 or, or 30 second clip of the three minutes. I don't need to always render the full three minutes. So then hit OK and we have our composition and we can see our nice little preview and we have nothing. So now the step or the, the next step I should say is to get our camera raw images here into After Effects. And we're going to do that by going File, Import, and choose File. Not multiple files. You may think multiple files, but we don't want to do multiple files. We want to go with File. And I'm going to navigate to my folder. So I'm going to say, where is it? Here it is, Tutorial Stuff. And I have this Wide Angle Art Museum Steps. Uh, and I'm just going to select the first image, right? Just one image. 
And don't you can ignore the XMP files, by the way. So I'm just going to select the first .cr2 file. And then down here at the bottom, I'm going to tick on Camera Raw Sequence. And you can choose Force Alphabetical Order if you want. Um, you can go ahead and do it. It won't hurt. Uh, in this case, at least it won't hurt. Uh, go ahead and hit Open. And uh, a, a, after... After Effects, excuse me, is going to say, all right, and then give you your camera roll dialog. Say, is this what you wanted? Yes, this is absolutely what I wanted. Hit OK. I'm not going to make any changes here. If I want to make changes, I'm going to go back to my sequence here in Adobe Bridge and make my changes out here. I don't, uh, that's just the way I prefer working. Not really for any good reason. That's just what I'm more comfortable with. Then I'm going to hit OK, and it's going to say, all right, I've imported it. You can see the size is 6.8 gigabytes. And then what I'm going to do is grab, uh, grab this clip, and I can just drop it down here onto the timeline or onto really sort of the layers area and my timeline is out here and it, and After Effects is going to render the first frame. And there we go. We've dragged in our images and we have effectively created a 12 second, well this isn't quite 12 seconds, this isn't 300 images, this is 277 images, so it's right around 10 seconds or so, yep, right around 10 seconds of imagery that we have here in After Effects and we have this nice little video clip. So that's how I went ahead and built a clip out of still images using After Effects. That's it for this one, guys. Make sure you go check out the website. That's www.tutvid.com. And while you're at it, go check out the film at phillyisugly.com. That would be super cool. And thanks so much for sticking around and watching this. I'll catch you guys later.